to hear me yet. Hold on. <laughs> so welcome back to today's Feature Friday. We have a beautiful home behind us, as you can see. We want to show you this home. It is a fantastic place to call your home, and it is at a great price as well. And believe it or not, this is a manufactured home. So come on in and see this beautiful three-bedroom, two-bath house. All right, guys, so now that we're inside this beautiful home, um, I wanted to show you, it does have a really nice foyer. We have this beautiful column sitting here, and we do have a really nice cloak closet right off the main door. So your guests can put their shoes, their coats, everything. It could be right there. You're not tracking up the rest of your house. Makes it really sweet. So most of the time I show you the kitchen, and you notice, if, if you've seen any of my other uh, videos, I do final details in the kitchen. Well, I'm not even going to show you the kitchen until then, so hang tight. Got a surprise for you. So we do have shiplap right here on either side of the built-in entertainment center. I really like that. We do have a place here to put your DVR, PlayStation, Xbox, Wii, everything. You do have a cable drop here. Oh, I took a little plastic piece out. Look, I've been looking at it. Hold on. <laughs> then you do have a plug here for your TV as well. So I do want to show you this end of the house. Like I said, we're keeping the kitchen a secret. There's three beautiful windows looking right into this massive living room. We do have bullet sheetrock walls. We do have this really nice door here in the dining room. It's an atrium door. We don't see that a whole lot on a lot of our homes, but we did add that as a feature in here. And remember, in a lot of our homes, you could add that as well, especially if you're ordering. So come on this way. We do have a dual vanity second bath. And I'll say that three times fast. Dual vanity second bath, dual vanity second bath. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so you do have the white cabinets, which match something later on in the video that you're gonna to want to see. Uh, <laughs> we do have soft closed doors and uh, soft closed doors as well. So in this, we do have toilet, of course, and a separate uh, tub and shower combo, but we did add, and that's kind of tucked away, we did add a, another closet in here. So this place has got tons of storage. You have your place for your linens. I keep jumping in front of the camera, but you have a place for your linens and everything that you might need for your bathroom. So come on this way. I want to show you the utility closet or utility room, not a closet. But we do have three entrances into this home. If you wanted to add a carport or a garage or anything on, which we do, by the way, we can add that to your loan. Um, we can do it on this house. And we do have this really fantastic, I call it like a little locker room. It has cabinets up here, place to hang your children's coats, book bags, everything, and shoes down at the bottom, and a bench to put on or take off your shoes if you're running out the door in the morning like we most, most of us are. Um, we have a place for your washer and dryer, of course, and your um, electrical panel is in this room as, whoo, excuse me, as well. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this one. We do have one of the bedrooms I want to show you. So the bathroom is kind of all across the hall, so you don't have to worry about people going in between, you know, the kids' rooms. You can close the doors, and guests can use that bathroom. So really good size bathroom, I mean bedroom in here, and I forgot to mention, I'm going to do the thing again. We have nine foot ceilings in this house. So it makes it so much open, opener and airier. Those are two words I just made up, yes. Um, but this is a manufactured home. So it is not a modular, but it is built the same walls. The only thing different is the roof pitch on this house. It is still two by six exterior construction and two by four interior construction with two by 10 floor joists. So now I just threw a bunch of construction knowledge out here. But basically, you're going to save a lot of money on in, um, electric bills. And also, it's just a really well-built home. It will last you a really long time. So we have mirroring bedrooms and mirroring closets. So you still have enough space in there to tuck away everything that you might need for your kids. On the way out, I wanted to point out that if you do have little ones that like to run around and, and you know, they're kind of hyper or anything, these edges are rounded so you're not hitting a corner on this house you actually have rounded edged drywalls which is really really nice this manufacturer is the only one in this industry that i know of that does it and it just makes for a a really nice it sounds it's, you know it just makes it feel like a really really high-end home which it is 
So come on this way. We're going to try to sneak away from the kitchen. I don't want you to see it because this is literally the best part. We're going into the master suite. We have it right here by the front door, as you just saw. You're coming kind of behind the coat closet. So you have a really big room in here. It could fit a king size bed easily and two nice size tables, you know, the whole bit. It fit everything that you would need in here. So, hold on one second. I want to make it a grand entrance, okay? All right, so behind these doors is the best bathroom on this lot, in my opinion. But you know, that's everybody's got one. So come on in here. So double doors leading into your massive master suite. We have a full garden tub in here that can fit and is big boy friendly. That means I can fit in it. Have a window right above it, which lets in a lot of natural light. So you have a place to sit and relax at the end of the day or the beginning of the day if you wake up early. Not me. Uh, you have a separated water closet, which is actually a really good size. Most water closets are really tight and you find you feel yourself really, really constricted, but that one's actually a good size. We do have the dual vanities over here with the arch above it. And once we get power to this home, it has LED lights everywhere in this bathroom and it just makes it so much better. So I want to come into the second bedroom. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, this is the shower, believe it or not. We have dual Amazon rain heads in this shower. This is our Amazon shower. It is huge. I mean, I, I can't, I mean, I literally, it's, I think it's eight foot wide by four foot deep, I think. I mean, it's massive. That's all I gotta say. You do have a, a seat, as you saw, for the ladies to shave your legs or just wanna sit underneath the rainfall. Or if you're just taking a regular shower, you just come over here. I mean, it just makes, I, mean, I can't, I mean, just great. I don't, I want this. I don't, I'm jealous. Oh, of course not. Sorry, I'm a very busy person apparently. My phone likes to ring when we're filming, but we're done with the shower, so we know this great. I want this house. Well, I want this house, yeah, we'll go with that. So I do want to show you one more thing in this closet, uh, well, in this bedroom, is this closet. i say that three times fast. I just want to come look at your bowling alley that we put in your house. Um, <laughs> it is a really long uh, closet. There is tons and tons of space in here. We have two or three LED lights that is fantastic. You can upgrade this closet and have wood shelves and everything like that in this manufacturer as well. But we just did this because we put so many options into the other parts of the house. And you have a full length mirror to look at yourself when you're getting ready in the morning so really this is a closet but it's also a dressing room as well you know it's not just a closet you can put a nice stool in the corner you know when you're putting your shoes on in the morning i mean it makes life really really nice so as we're going out i do want to show you the best part this whole entire house and you can continue filming me because i've got one more feature i want to show you on the way out this fan, I love this fan. I talk about this fan in all the houses that we have it. So there is no pull cords, there is no anything like that. It's completely controlled by the switch, which is really nice. That's what kind of everybody's going to. So I want her to get a big shot of this, so I'm not gonna be in it, but I just wanna take you a look at this kitchen and how many cabinets and how, many, how much countertop space and this massive island. I mean, it's like, huge. I mean, <laughs> it's like eight foot long. Um, so it is huge. You can fit four or maybe even five bar stools. This is the entertaining house. If you like to have parties, if you like to have family over, friends over, this is where you want to do it. We have this gorgeous uh, Euro hood and we do have something that not a lot of manufactured homes have. A pot filler. And people are like, well, that's pointless. Well, have you ever tried to fill up a pot oh, and carry it from over there and over here? And for me, you know, strong guy, uh, it's not hard. But some people, it's hard to get over here. So now, all you've got to do is literally put the big pot up here and turn it up. It is fantastic. I love that. We have the flat top stove and the detached oven in this house as well. We have the subway tile halfway up the wall these really nice transom windows i love the 
kitchen in this house. I just can't get over it. We have the sink that is our chef's sink, I call it. Um, it has a detachable hose sprayer. There's also quite a few options. You could just put some veggies, rinse them off in here. There's also a tray here to kind of protect the bottom of your sink. And this rolls up out of your way if you don't need it, but it's perfect for vegetables or meat or just rinsing anything off as well. You do have the stainless steel dishwasher that comes with it. And there's so many cabinets, I don't think I'd ever be able to fill them up. Um, there is cabinets with some glass in it over here for display items. Um, I mean, let me see if this one has it. Yes, underneath all these cabinets is under cabinet lighting. Um, so that is a really nice feature. You kind of put it on and kind of make your kitchen a show kitchen. Because that's basically what this is. It's a show kitchen. Uh, you've got tons of space to put decorations up there and you've got like little built-ins everywhere. I mean, I can spend all day on this kitchen. I can't get over how nice it is. But the one thing is, I do want to point out over here. So I kind of messed up my camera lady, I'm sorry. But, so you have the kitchen, right? Well, I call this my coffee bar. Over here, we have a whole other set of cabinets. You have the built-in microwave, which is a really nice height you can put right in. Um, you do have cabinets here. But one cool thing is you can hide your coffee pot or your blender or whatever away. And it is sitting on the countertop, but there's a really nice cabinet door that goes in front of it to just kind of tuck it away. We do have another space over here. You just want to leave your coffee pot out in the mornings or a wine bar. We do have a nice white cabinet with a uh, glass in it as well. So I wanted to show you everything in this house. We have this beautiful floor, um, this barnwood live plank flooring that I love. And this is right off in the dining room with that atrium door I showed you earlier. So all in all, this house has pretty much every feature you can possibly put in it. Um, it is a really good price because this is a manufactured home. So if you haven't seen manufactured homes in a long time, Please come and see this. It is not a modular, even though if you were blindfolded and taken inside, you'd say it's a modular because it's built exactly the same as a modular. The only difference is the pitch of the roof. That's the only difference. And it doesn't get lifted with a crane. Two differences, but you still have the same quality. It is built really well. It's built to last, but you get it at a lower price point. So Come see this in person. Come see all of our homes here in Greenville. Come see Dick, Jimmy, Tommy, Glenn, any of the salespeople here. They'd be happy to help you into your new home and happy to give you a personalized tour of this home or any of our other homes. Remember, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and we'll see you next Friday.